Today we start with the journey of Mantis and that really was born in the year 2000 and I've alluded to a number of times in my talks about the Mantis Big Five which is development, hospitality, sales and marketing, conservation and education. This particular interview deals with something that I'm very passionate about and that's development. And it goes back many years when I moved to Port Elizabeth and we developed uh, cash and carry warehouses around the country. And then when I went on my own in 1974 and started building swimming pools and tennis courts and construction. And then uh, after I'd lost everything in 1979, I started again in the swimming pool business. And I soon realized that there was a gap in the market that had never been uh, exploited to the extent that it could be. And that was the construction of half Olympic swimming pools in Gunnard. And I went to the United States to see how that was done. And we built the first half Olympic, uh, certainly in this province, if not South Africa, Gunnard, at a, at a school called Victoria Park in Port Elizabeth. So that was part of my development uh, process in life. And then uh, during those days, we had quite a, a good tax incentive in South Africa in that if we made money, say, in the crane hire that I was doing or the, or the transport, you were allowed to offset this in another business, especially farming. So we decided, because my partner in the crane business was particularly keen on horse racing, which that part of it I wasn't that keen on, but I was really fascinated about the development of a stud farm and breeding horses. And we developed a stud farm in Pettenberg Bay, which again, like Shamari, everybody said I was mad. It had never been done before. And I must tell you is that uh, I don't think it's been repeated in South Africa, where we had, I think, six Group 1 winners in a year. We had Horse of the Year, Philly of the Year, and Sprinter of the Year. But it's an error, and this mare is pure gold. Champion Fool's Home walks away with the Group 1 champion stakes. His eighth win from nine starts. This was the fastest 2,000 meters ever run in South African racing history. The front and Potomac trying to make Champion a race Enchanted her. Garden takes the Group One Sun International, the first three-year-old filly to do so. My next dream, which was to develop my own patch of Africa, and that was the development of Shamari Game Reserve, which, as I've said before, was uh, meant to be a private uh, farm for myself. But once we had got to almost 20,000 hectares, I realized that it had to be commercialized. And I think that was the start of the development division because there we had to build new lodges, we had to renovate homes, we had to build roads, we had to do fencing, we had to do bomas. It was a, a quite a massive job. And that's when I think the whole division of development came about. And I think you're gonna find that the development division of the Mantis Big Five is really where it uh, all starts. And it's not only the developing of the buildings themselves, it's developing of what goes with them, it's the interiors. So it's not a case of just the building, it's a case of what goes into the building, and then it's a case of the people that run it, and then we move on to the hospitality division. And then I think now is that, um, you know, it's over to the team that looks after the, the development division. And I know that you're gonna go back in history you're going to talk about Graham, who was my partner in the development division when we really commercialised it, with uh, Craig, who then became the vice president for operations of Apple in Southern Africa, an interior lady that's been with me, Moret, for over the last 30 years, and then now, more recently, over the last couple of years, where Bruce has come in, Bruce McNichol. So, enjoy the journey. <laughs>